So thank you so much for coming. And uh, my first question would be, um, who are you? And how would you describe your, your activism and your work that, that brought you here? Uh, my name is Hina Mwewra Morgan Cross. Uh, I'm a Tahitian, I'm born in Tahiti. I'm 35 years old. I'm also uh, a mom of two boys. Uh, of uh, uh, my, my elder son is 12 years old and um, my older son is just eight, eight months. Two boys, I'm very, very lucky. And I, I became an activist in 2018 uh, because uh, uh, I realized that all the disease in my family and also the leukemia that I have since 10 days uh, was the consequences of uh, the nuclear weapons because uh, I saw uh, the, the list of the radio-induced uh, disease and I saw the leukemia that I have, all the thyroid cancer that touched the woman in my family and also the breast cancer. And it's uh, this first, when I realized that it is the, the first step that pushed me to uh, to start my activism. But uh, it started in Tahiti and I, I realized uh, very early that uh, we have to, we must fight uh, in front of an uh, international community to denounce what, what France did to us because I really feel that we have been poisoned. And today uh, we are also condemned to pay all the cost of this disease because uh, France gave us back the health competence in 1977. So today um, all the Tahitian people have to, to pay for all the cost of the cancer. You already mentioned the cancer, but um, what are the, the other consequences that are not talked about so much, probably? Okay. No, in fact, there, there's there's many issues after these nuclear bombs. Me, my activism is mo is mostly about uh, the recognition, the reparation, about the health, uh, uh, about asking friends to to help us with our hospital, but we also had. Um, many, many ch change on our population because we, we were uh, used to live on the, 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 the islands and uh, with the, the development that came, everybody came on the main island. There are now many poverty in our country. So we, we, we had a big change of our society. Also the fact that they don't, we, we don't even, like most of the population, they don't even go fishing, they don't even go uh, planting. So we, in just three, uh, 30 years, everything has changed in uh, Mao Hinui because of the, the nuclear test. And do people talk about the nuclear legacy or is it too hurtful to talk about to people who, who witnessed it? No, it's it's not a, a subject that we talk about, and mostly uh, when I'm born in 1988, uh, it wasn't um, uh, learned at school, and also in my family it was very taboo. I, I can confess that, like for my grandma, it's a real trauma. She she's afraid of speaking sometimes, or she it's too difficult because it was a a, a hard time for uh, for our population. And also today, she 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 always cry when she see me, but because she knows that I'm sick and I'm fighting for leukemia, and she she felt real a uh, lot of culpability, like she 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 didn't uh, protest during the nuclear test, you know, and. Um, Today it's it's difficult to to continue the fight in Tahiti because also the propaganda of the state was so strong on our people. They always say that the uh, okay nuclear bombs of other countries uh, are made of poison, but nu nuclear French test uh, is clean. So. In many, many uh, minds of people, they, they, they don't believe that, uh, they, they don't, they're not aware of all the consequences of the, the nuclear weapons. It's why I, I like to say that uh, to become an anti-nuclear uh, activist in Tahiti, we have to decolonize your memories and your, your mind. 
And um, you are not only an activist anymore, you were also elected uh, into the assembly. Would you say that the election and becoming a politician did change uh, your work in that area? Or the first change since I'm elected is that I have more power and mostly at my assembly. Uh, my first text was in September uh, of this year and I uh, proposed, uh, I made a, a resolution on the support of the TPNW and it has been uh, voted by all my colleagues and uh, I thank them and it was important for me to do that just to say to friends uh, who always repeat that they want to turn the page on the nuclear history in French Polynesia but uh, this resolution uh, was a message to tell them that we, we, we will not never stop Uh, fighting for the recognition of what happened to my to to our people, and it was also a message to all the state parties of the TPNW and all the international community to to tell them that uh, uh, we exist. We're a very very small country uh, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, but here uh, look at us. Uh, learn about our history, we have uh, been victim of 193 nuclear bombs. We have been uh, the guinea pig of France for 30, 30 years. And today we have sick people that were not able to, to uh, care uh, properly. So uh, it was, uh, I, I'm grateful that to be in politics and, and have the power. And for the two second MSP, uh, I'm very happy because I, I have access to a parliamentarians meeting. So uh, I met a lot of colleagues from uh, all around the world. And uh, it was a, a great moment for me to, to share about what happened uh, in my country. So you would say that more people are listening to you now that you... Yes, more people are listening. Uh, and it's also a, a good way to, to build right now a, a network because I, I always say that uh, uh, my country need help and since France uh, doesn't help us enough uh, I, I'm gonna ask her maybe to other country. Um, so what does the ban treaty then mean to you and, and the community you find here? Um, do you find the support that you're searching for here or Do you say that there is also improvement? No, I have a lot of support here. Uh, mostly uh, Jean-Marie Collin from ICANN France. He really is the one who opened me uh, this, uh, uh, the, 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 the doors of ICANN and all other NGOs. Uh, and I really thankful. And also I have many support from my, uh, like I say, brothers and sisters from the Pacific. I really feel uh, that we're part of a community and also many support of uh, other people from uh, affected communities and many con many people that congrats me for my work. And uh, it's so good to be in this uh, atmosphere of support and uh, uh, sharing our history and uh, be happy also of the success of, uh, of other people. And what would you say should be the role of affected communities in, in the TPNW and the process? Um, I, I, I am, I'm very grateful for the TPNW and the fact that it put uh, humanity inside and also that he, he uh, put some lights on the, the affected community because uh, many people, they just think, oh, there's nuclear weapons, but Uh, around nuclear weapons, behind nuclear weapons, there is a very, very uh, horror history. There's community, uh, they, there's affected community. And oh, today we, we are all living um, in different country, but we have all today the, the same problem with all the, the disease and it goes from generation to, to generation. And We're asking for how long are going to be poisoned. So um, at this second MSP, the work with uh, the affected community is really to connect and create a network and see how we can help each other. And uh, how do you see the future? What what would be your hope for the treaty to achieve? What would be your, your hope for the next years? 
I, I, I can't wait that the Article 6 and Article 7 about the victim assistance and the rehabilitation uh, will start to work. And uh, I have a really, really uh, good thought about the, the, the trust fund that's going to be uh, created uh, to help us. So um, I think we, we were doing in New York for the second MSP a very, very great work together. What would you say should be the, the first steps, especially regarding uh, victim assistance and environmental remediation? What should countries do to actually meet the needs that people have? I, I think we, we should work on the uh, medical care. We, we really have, uh, we really all need uh, assistance, better hospital or better way to, to treat the cancer. Like in Tahiti, we have uh, 20 years uh, uh, late for the treatment of, uh, of the cancer. So some people, if they were living in a developed like country or in the United States, they will be able to, to live, to be treated. In Tahiti, there are many, many people that are dying because we don't have the, the, the machine to, to cure them, to treat them. And some lucky, there are they, some lucky people, uh, our uh, territory can pay uh, uh, them to be treated in uh, Paris. They go to Paris to be treated, but he, it's very, very expensive for um, for us. So we really need uh, assistance on uh, our uh, medical care. And regarding all the, the problems, what motivates you personally to keep on with that work? Um, what keeps me uh, fighting is, is thinking about all the people that are sick. Despite that I have uh, a leukemia, I really feel lucky because uh, uh, I'm still uh, alive, but uh, I think a lot about uh, all the kids that are in France and that are treated for leukemia. And um, we're, we're now, many of, the, of us, we, we are afraid of having uh, uh, children that are going to be sick. It, it's, it's, a, it's the big problem in our country. And what's also motivated me is my, my kids. Of course, because uh, it's them who gave me the strength. I'm really thinking about uh, their future and uh, it's why I, I fight for them.